Hello, everybody. Yes, sir. Nick back. Coming at you live from the Zyvik server. Playing some more Minecraft. Yes, I do have a cow head. Woohoo! I think it's pretty cool. So, a lot's happened since my last video. Um, for you guys, it's probably not been so long since I posted it, but I've had some technical difficulties. I recorded a couple episodes, a couple of files got corrupted. It happens. I also tried to stream on Twitch, but I had some problems with my ISP. So right now, just back to recording for YouTube. Alright, so let's take a look at some of the things that have changed since I last played. So the last time I played, I spent a bunch of time in the, uh, the binding, abandoned mine shaft, if I could talk, and I died in lava and lost a bunch of stuff. Well, as you can tell, uh, since then I've done a few things. I've been doing a lot of mining. I'm actually looking for a slime chunk. Um, so this is kind of where these long corridors are coming from. Uh, so for those of you that don't know, slime trunks are random and depending on what seeds you have, that kind of dictates where they're located. So one of the best ways to find them is if you do by a three by two tunnel system and you go across many different chunk borders, then you have the potential of them spawning. The nice thing is they spawn in any light level. The bad thing is your contingent based off of the mob cap uh, algorithms that go into it. So yeah, you have to light up dark spaces and find caves and kills and mobs and stuff. But I just started with it. Um, just been kind of caving out, but with that I've been able to find some diamonds, um, I made a diamond pickaxe, I have my diamond sword that I made, I think you guys missed that one. Uh, so I have to try to remember everything to show you that you missed in the episodes that will never be posted, sadly. Um, yeah, so this was a nice little cave area, uh, this is where I've been turning lava into obsidian and stuff. So let's get out of the mine. Let me give you a tour of a lot of the things that have changed. And there's a zombie. Die, zombie. There we go. All right, so we still have the abandoned mine shaft around here. I've done a little bit to try to clear it out and light it up. I've tried to destroy a couple of the cave spider spawners that were really annoying. But I have a ton of work to do in there, and I still have a bunch of mining out to do to get all the ores and everything. So, when we last left off, this was my home base, right? So I have my sped still here, but now I've put in a whole bunch of these barrels, and I've started, you know, putting stuff in them. I got a bunch of redstone, got some gold, got some iron, I got some diamond. Not a ton of diamond, and actually something cool. So if I type in PV, that means player vault. And I have a few player vaults available. So these are where I keep a bunch of my special stuff. So I have some more diamonds here. Um, I have my saddle, right? So we used this in the last episode. I don't think I put anything in that one yet. I do have some vote keys that we're going to have to un uh, go in and use today. But uh, I'm not going to worry about that right now. Right now it's time for the tour after I clear out some of my inventories. Um, let's see. So I still have a whole bunch of mob stuff. Got another ender pearl. Um, I have a pig head. That's cool. And I have a zombie head. And I think I had a creeper head somewhere. But, yeah. It is what it is. Well, let's get to the fun stuff. So this is no longer my primary base. This is kind of like my treasure shed, I guess. Um, oh yeah, and I put in... Oop, I gotta hide that. So, I've done some work. So there's where we had our horses. Well, now I also have some farms. So I have a ton of potato, I have a ton of carrots, and I have a ton of wheat. And uh, in an episode that you guys won't see, I went through the... Ooh, well, okay, let's turn off the friendly mob sounds, or at least turn them on lower. Let's, yeah, let's put them at like 10%. There we go. So uh, I went through a whole process to make sure I found two of each of these. There were a few pigs, and there was one chicken, and then there was a couple of sheep. So I had to go on a journey to find other mobs. So if I type in homes, see here I have a forest. And... Okay, okay. Uh, that wasn't supposed to happen. All right, sorry guys. I'm going to combat log real quick, and uh, hope... 
Let's get me out of here. Crap. Okay. So let's see. There we go. Whew. Uh, I don't know what just happened there, but all right. Uh, I got my stuff back. Okay. So I'm not going to be able to show you that. Um, that was weird. Well, take it from me that, uh, how do I get rid of this shift and right click? No. Wrong, wrong click. Shift and right click. Okay, let's get rid of that one. Well, I did. Oop. Sorry, that whole thing just kind of threw me off. Well, I went on a whole adventure and I found a nice forested area that was right next to a plains biome. And I was able to go through and get a whole bunch of. Uh, through a series of boating exercises, I was able to get enough to start breeding. So I've been breeding my livestock. Don't have as much chickens yet, but that's okay. I've actually been taking a few of them out so that way I can get their feathers and have chicken to eat. And then I have cows and I've been getting leather. So that's fun. So I have that little uh, farm system going right there. I have my berry bushes and then I showed you guys that. But my pride and joy is up here. So I was looking for a nice beach house and I actually found a YouTube video from someone named Almost Addicted. I'll actually put a link in the description of the video that I used as my inspiration. Um, so I, I took the primary design and I made a couple of tweaks and added a few things here and there, took some things out. Basically, this was supposed to be like on the side of, you know, by the river and stuff, or by the ocean in my case. But I put it up here up top. It's a pretty view. This way I can see things. And as I build other things out and I look out of my village, I have a good view. This is the upstairs of the house. So let's go down to the downstairs. And I think the original design, the creator was talking about like making a bar and like a restaurant or something like that, but I turned it into a house. So this is the downstairs. I, as you can tell, I have not put anything in it. Haven't, uh, I haven't thought about the interior decoration yet, um, but that's okay. So then upstairs, this is my second level, kind of like my attic or, you know, whatever you want to call it. This is that deck we were just on. And then out here, this is a nice little hangout, get to see the ocean and figure stuff out like that. But also this is where I'm gonna be doing my enchanting. So it's a nice little house design. See, right? I pretend like I can sit here and look out at the random pig and I can watch the sunset. So, you know, it's nice things happening, but We'll have to come back at some point and do some interior design and figure it out. Like if I want to go on downstairs and connect it to my mines and stuff or like figure out treasure or whatever. I don't know. We got time for that. Got to figure out what we want to do. I'm not 100% sure, but that's okay. So that's pretty much what you guys have missed. I've spent a ton of time working on this. I have a nice little sugar uh, sugar cane farm going. I haven't done any automation yet. Um, I've gotten a bunch of redstone, but I haven't made any trips to the nether. I was thinking maybe in today's episode we could actually uh, mine some obsidian now that I have a halfway decent pickaxe with a couple of enchantments on it, and we can head to the nether. I think that'll be fun, right? Um, I need to find some nether quartz. Ooh, and then also I've been looking for those slimes. I did find a swamp biome, but the only problem is every time I go there, the ambient light level is still above the level with which spawns uh, or slimes spawn. So that really hasn't been working out for me. Um, I'm not sure if that's something to do with like settings from the server or what, but we'll have to kind of figure that out. Uh, so, well, real quick since we're we're coming up in the night. Let's go take a gander over there. So I'm going to teleport. So I have the island, which takes me in the house, the swamp, and then I have the home, which actually takes me to underground. That's not the one I meant to click, but that's the one I was talking about. So swamp. This is the swamp. I've done a few things here, so let's... Huh. Someone has been here, maybe? And I'm experiencing a little bit of lag. Oh, well, it happens. Uh, let's see. Make sure I'm not dropping any frames or anything. Okay. So just going to kind of wander around. Pretty sure that wasn't me that was here. Huh. 
So I'm just going to kind of wander around. It's day already. That was fast. Well, that sucks. I was working on a project as well. Um, so notice I have this uh, cobblestone structure and I have these stairs down here. So I was like, oh, hey, what if I make it very dark? Maybe I could get them to spawn. But I haven't been getting very much spawn. So uh, I know it's something to do with the uh like there's spawn rates for full moons and stuff like that for slimes but yeah, i don't know i don't have it like fully figured out so i'm not going to worry too much about it um i did also uh, was it in this section here i think there's another section i did go down to y level 12 to try to kind of mine some of that out but i really haven't had good success i want to my goal is to find a whole bunch of slime and make slime blocks so that way I can use those for when I'm building. Um, it just makes it easier and then when you fall you don't like die to your death, you know. So yeah, so I had built this chamber out that way and that way and I was hoping it would, you know, do great things, but not so much. So this is where I was going through and mining down um, and then I built a little stair area here. And we come up here. There was a ravine where I almost died a couple times. It happens. Shh, don't tell. And then I've been trying to mine some of this stuff out. Now I've been doing a two by two, but if I want slimes to spawn, it need slimes to spawn. I need it to be a three by two. But even down here, I'm not getting much. So I'm pretty sure that with this, even though I'm in a swamp biome, it, when I get to this lower white lie. Y levels. I really can't talk today, guys. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, when I get down to these lower Y levels, uh, I'm pretty sure it still has to be a slime trunk, regardless of whether or not I'm in the swamp. So let's hop back home. So we'll go back into our little home cave right here. And yeah. So I've got a nice amount of iron. Let's put that away. How's. Oh, that's right. I died a bunch and therefore my iron armor went away um, so let's just make some more that's why we mine it but don't throw that away Nick oh no oh okay Whew. I was like I lost my cow head but I didn't it's still there yeah there's my creeper head so let's grab zombie head and pig head so that's the one of the the plugins on this uh, on this server is that you can get heads. So that's pretty cool. I have the leads. So there's leads. So yeah, I was using leads and a boat and getting getting my uh, uh, folks in a boat, getting my uh, animals in a boat. I am gonna wanna try to find a farmer so that way I can make a. Uh, like a villager breeding area. So that's why I've stayed a, kind of in the area of the village, but not gone too much in there. So hopefully I don't kill any of them uh, with zombie, anything like that. I've tried to kind of keep them isolated in their homes. If you remember back, um, oh, that's right. That was another one of those episodes. No, 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 no. You, you guys saw that episode. That's right. That was, that was, that was a good video. Um, you saw where I blocked them in in their house so that way they can't get out and hopefully the zombies couldn't get to them all right so i need to keep the vegetables other than what i used to breed and yeah i know some of these weren't all harvestable ready but that's okay i try to keep my crop and kind of the same same time frame you know just makes it easier on me and that way i'm not like picking one or two at a time Okay, there's that. These guys aren't quite ready, so let's breed some more pigs. Come here, pigs. Give me levels. Since I just lost all of my levels. Yeah, that sucked with that teleport. I don't know what happened there, but yeah, it happens. Okay, so let's go take these. Um, I want to show you guys something cool. So we have a little bit of a trading hall for the server. 
and I finally figured out how to use it more. Um, I've been focusing on the agricultural aspect, so let's see what we got in here. Got those carrots. Uh, I need to clear out some of my inventory space. So bear with me just a moment while I do that. Okay, um, I'll need the kelp. I will need, uh, they don't trade seeds. Okay, so that'll work there. And then I gotta figure out, okay, these are my potatoes. So put the potatoes here. Oh, that's right, I have an extra diamond pickaxe because I was trying to get efficiency. All right, so I need all four of those. That one can go in there. Do Where do I have my carrots? Here, those are potatoes. There's my carrots. So put those up there. Um, okay, so we'll only use those two. And we'll put these guys here. Sweet. Put the egg in here. So I have, uh, I have some area of opportunity for my organizational management. I've got space for stuff, so that's good. Okay, so I've got those, got those, got those. All right, sweet. So let's work back to spawn, and hopefully nothing crazy happens like, you know, this. This scared me the first time it happened. Like, I was like, oh my god, I'm going to fall into the void, but then I appear there. So this is our spawn. Ooh, I will have to come back and use uh, use my vote keys. So you can vote for your servers on different voting websites, and then it just kind of like ups the priority that people can find them and gives them better rankings and stuff. So when you do that with this server, they give you rewards, you know, kind of like bribes. All right, so this is like the agriculture, like the farming area. So like in this one, there's different things that you can buy and sell. So I did buy some slime balls, but that was expensive to buy a diamond. So you needed two diamonds and an iron sword. And basically this is how it, uh, how you can buy stuff. I do want to buy the shulker uh, shell, so I, I'm pretty sure I'm I have enough diamonds, but uh, I don't know. We'll see. I like using shulker boxes. They just kind of help with your inventory management. But yeah, these are some cool things. So as I go exploring, and then you can sell stuff as you get items. All right, so I'm going to sell some of my food. Uh, ooh. Oh, that's right. You can sell seeds, but then you get a diamond shard. And I think it's like eight diamond shards to get one diamond. So it's not really that beneficial, but that's okay. Okay, get those and those, and where did I sell sea kelp? One of these takes sea kelp, and I can't remember which. Not you. Was it you? Unless they stopped taking the sea kelp, which is very possible. What about you? So it's seven to one. Ah, here we go. Okay, so if I sell him that, I get one shard. So that'll take forever, but I do have a whole bunch of kelp right behind my house in that water area. So once I build a conduit, then I'll be good. And actually, do you guys sell stuff for the conduits, like the Nautilus shell or anything like that? Not you. Do you? No, you don't. You don't sell Nautilus shell, do you? No, you do not. Okay, I'll have to go find those old-fashioned way by killing drowned. And actually, I might have killed some of them. I no wait. That never mind. That's a different, different project I'm working on. Different uh, load of Minecraft. That's right. Ooh, you guys do buy poisonous potatoes though. Good to know. And I can sell sweet berries. Okay, good to know. I have a design that I'm going to work on for creating an automated pumpkin farm and an automated melon farm. I just don't have it up and running yet because obviously I've been to the nether, so I haven't gotten any nether quartz. All right, let's go back home. And let's start working on our way to get to the nether. I want to think of an area in which it'll be nice and quiet to make it to the nether, but still kind of cool. Um... Typically what I'll do is like in the side of a mountain or something like that, I'll put another portal. So it just depends. Do I want to do it outside? Because if I do it outside, I mean, I could put it in here. That actually wouldn't be too bad. So let's go through and just clear some of this out. 
I'll need a space three high and technically four high. So we'll take it in one more. Because I need two across. And then one, two, three, four. And let's see. Is that how it makes sandstone? Yep, good. Cool. I'll just put a sandstone right there. Oh, this isn't my claimed area? Well, in that case. Oop, don't want a book. All right, so then we'll put those two there. And yes, I'm one of those to where um, I don't fill in the corners with obsidian. It's, in my opinion, a waste of resources. Ooh, it's about to be night. And we got to figure out, do we want to try to investigate the slimes? Now, you know what? I'm not going to get distracted, but I'm not going to do it. But we do need to get more obsidian. So I need to go back down here into the mining area. And we'll get some obsidian. I know it's not the best thing to watch. It's not the best content ever. But hey, you know what it is. Okay, so let's come here. And I don't know. I have a better area for it. So let's go find that area. Here we go. So put that there. So that's not quite the spot I want to do it. Let's do it there. There we go. So this is the secret that I use for mining obsidian as you put down a bucket of water. And then you just kind of go ham on it going forward. So notice how it popped up that piece of obsidian, but the water pushed it forward. So that's what I do. And that way you're not accidentally falling into the lava and you're not losing the obsidian that you're mining into the lava. So let's grab those. We'll go this way next. Alright, so I, I had two. I think I need, what, eight more? So, okay, so I put two down. I need a total of, is it ten? I can never remember. I'll go with 12 to be safe, so I need 10 more. Ah, poop. Well, that wasn't nice. Okay, let's see what happens if we do this one. Yeah, so that's just how it goes. Sometimes it drops into the water faster than... I mean, like it drops into the lava faster. And I think it's because I'm playing with fire quite literally because um, I have the water above the level, or I mean below the level. We'll figure it out. It'll work. Okay, so then what I like to do is I go like this. Do some of that. Let's do that. And then let's put that there. And now we can go back to doing this. Yes, it's a slow, arduous process. But that's better than some of the other ways I've seen. And no, I'm not one to where I understand the nuances of uh, creating the obsidian portal. Um, like, I, I guess there's a way that you can do it to where you don't have to mine out obsidian. But I'm just not that good yet. <laughs> I was watching another YouTuber by the name of Captain Sparkles, and he was doing it. And it's like the UHC, so the Ultimate Hardcore um, or Ultra Hardcore variant of how to do that. And like he takes the lava bucket, and then he does water on top of the lava and puts it. And yeah, but that's all right. I'm not going to need to worry about that right now. Let's go put our portal in. Ooh, and then I also need to make some flint and steel, in which I think I have flint and I have iron. Which is funny that they call it flint and steel when it's actually flint and iron, but whatever. And let's bring some cobble with me because I am notorious for not having cobble going into the nether. And the reason why you want to bring cobble with you into the nether is that ghasts cannot blow up cobble. Um, yeah, I've had that happen a few times. 
where you go into the nether and then boom, you blow up. And then you fall in lava because, you know, of course it's the nether. Ooh, did any of you catch uh, the Minecon Earth uh, live streams or, you know, aka videos or anything like that? Um, they're making updates to the nether, so that looks super awesome. So it's going to be like the nether... Uh, Okay, so I was right. I didn't do that one, but whatever. This is going to be the nether update that's coming up next, so 1.15. So in addition to bees, you're going to get some cool stuff with the nether. And we take our flint and steel and clap. There we go. Now, the only thing I hope is that I don't have any issues with somebody else's portal that's around here. But there's no time like the present, so let's do this thing. All right, give it a moment to load. Cool. All right, let's record our XY. So we're at 2303, 78, and a negative 357. All right, there, I have it on recording, so hopefully I don't lose my way. So there's a few things I like to do in the nether. Uh, one of the things I really need to do right now is I need to get some of this beautiful stuff. It's the uh, nether quartz. You can use it for a few different things. Um, I'm going to be using it in like redstone contraptions. I'm going to need it for a, uh, you know, uh, repeater. So, yeah, it's fun time. But also you can use it, uh, it's good for getting experience. So notice how each one of those that I bust open gives me experience. That's an excellent way to get experience while mining and yeah this uh <laughs> this pickaxe it's what efficiency two and i'm breaking two um it cuts through netherrack like none other's business what's up little guy okay so there's a couple different ways that i like to mark where i'm going uh first and foremost i like to make torches there we go and just put torches down so that way i can hopefully find my way back Ooh, what do we got going on here? So the first thing I want to look at is human generated stuff. Um, that's one of the things on being a server. You want to kind of keep an eye out for what other people have done. And then that way you don't accidentally destroy it. Oh, there's an Enderman. Do, do. All right, so looks like I'm going to have to get some gravel if I want to go farther down. And that's okay. Um... There's no easy way to get across. Looks like once I do get across, I could get down that way. So I guess the question becomes, do I want to risk it and try to go across there? So I'm going to try to find another fortress um, so that way I can get some stuff for brewing potions and stuff like that. Why not? Nobody lives forever, right? Um, let's actually first and foremost, let's be smart about this. So I'm going to put away some of my more oh, my more valued tools, things that I can't uh, normally get. Okay, put those away. Oh, I didn't sell my potatoes. Put that and that away. Put some iron away, the lapis. I guess anything that I don't necessarily need in here. I'm going to want to keep some arrows just in case. Uh, keep an iron put those up there okay that should be good for now put that in there that way I don't lose it that there okay there we go that's something better than nothing and that way if I fall into the lava I'm not losing much and you know what I don't want to lose my cow head because that is important to me I love it it's like the favorite it's my favorite uh, piece of armor that I've ever found um, I don't know why, but it's just, you know, things like that amuse me, so, hey, why not? Okay, I don't know if that experience is from me, or if someone's been here recently, but I'm probably not getting that, so that's okay. I wonder, can I set a home in the nether? Let's see. So if I put this up here and here, slash set home, 
nether. All right, cool. I have a home in the nether. Hopefully, there won't be any issues. Um, you never know, though. I don't think there's going to be any issues in that other one that I created. That one ate called the forest, but it happened. So I'm just filling some of this in to A, stick out. Um, that way it'll kind of show me where I came from. But B, again, so that way a gas doesn't appear blowing my butt away. Don't accidentally fall into a hole. Because that would be something that I would do. Ooh, glowstone though. I love me some glowstone. Let's see if I can't dig down to it. So this is what I like to do is when I'm staring down in the nether. Um, as long as I have space backwards. All right, that's probably going to be as slow as I'm going to be able to safely get. There we go. And there's some zombie pigmen. Woohoo, glowstone dust. Okay. And the other thing I love is getting nether wreck. So I use a lot of the nether wreck, and um, if you smelt it, that'll create like nether bricks, and then you can put it together, and it'll make. Um... Oops, somebody was shot by a skeleton. Never fun. But then you can use it to make um, like the nether bricks. Yeah. Huh. Anything over here other than death? No. Okay, so let's go back up top here. But you make like the nether bricks and stuff that the they use in the nether fortresses. And it's totally cool. It's totes my goats awesome. Okay, so let's come in here and mine this way. And again, I'm just keeping all of my other tools and fancy stuff put away um, in case I fall into lava. And while I'm thinking of it, let's put some of this other stuff in there because I have it available, so might as well utilize it, right? Um, I guess we'll put the obsidian in there. I'll put a stack of nether wreck. I'll put these two potato stacks in there. And that way I'm taken care of. There we go. Okay. Well, I think we're coming up to a good place to stop for the time being um i mean we made it to the nether and i mean that's about it but i think in the next episode i'm going to start working on making some of my redstone contraptions now that i have nether quartz and i can make repeaters and uh shoot i can never remember the name of the other one um you have repeaters and what's it called it'll come to me after i'm done recording so i'm not gonna worry about it um but uh, we'll need those oh, comparators. There we go. Repeaters and comparators. Those are two big things that you need for uh, doing redstone machines and stuff like that. And I want to get some automation. So I want to get some, like make some observers also and do an automated sugar cane farm and do a few other things. So I'm going to hang out here in the nether, gather some of the nether quartz, maybe do a little bit of exploration. Uh, but I won't bore you guys with that. I've already bored you with enough today. So, hey, I appreciate you hanging out with me. And as always, if you enjoyed today's episode, please leave a thumbs up rating. Uh, if you haven't done so, subscribe to my channel. Uh, I always appreciate new subscribers. Uh, haven't hit very many lately, but that's just because I hadn't been recording because I moved. But I have recordings coming out now a little bit more regularly, a little bit more frequently. I'm looking at starting another modded series in addition to playing on the server. So just keep an eye out for that. And I appreciate you guys spending time with me. If you have any comments to help the series get better or any of my episodes or anything like that get better, please feel free to leave them down below. You guys take care. Bye-bye.